Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Michael, a.k.a. Rickshaw, and you're nerding out with Rickshaw in America. <laughs> because in America, you could have an opinion, like today, that no one should judge me about, because we're Americans. Okay. True Blue, Huck Finn. <laughs> but Shania Twain. You're... <laughs> Apple Pie. Dun, dun, <laughs> Baseball. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go, girls. <laughs> But uh, we're also nerding out with. What's up, nerds? It's Rabbit. And it's the producer, Toby Von Doom. Very Mr. serious Von business Doom. we're in right now, guys. Very Mis serious business happening. The business of misery, as uh, my, <laughs> my friend Haley. Let's take it from the top. Talked about. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're in a hot hot debate. You know what I mean? Yeah, hot, 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 we, hot, we hot, just hot, did a live show, and there was a pretty <laughs> good segment where we talked about the man, the myth, the legend, Keith Buckley, and his drama that mean, he caused. You mean the legends? The legends that the are legends. the people that well, played we, instruments. We were really talking. Every time I <laughs> we were talking about Keith and how he broke up the band, essentially, and and yes. you know, in my heart, and our hearts broke in up our hearts. Heart. Yes. Um, so. so. Yeah, I think he would do it again. That's really why I'm doing this, guys. Are you just think, you're just protecting I yourself? I think that Keith Buckley is not afraid to break everyone's heart. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about you. He will ruin any band he can to get his own message out there, and then there will be people that will be like, "Well, I don't care if he caused it. I'll support him." And then as soon as you fall in love with that band, he'll be like. I'm out of here. They're all making me feel shitty. <laughs> and, then, and then you're going to have to well, follow him to another band, you know? <laughs> and then what's going to happen after that, guys? You're just going to start calling up your aunt that you hated since you were five years old, and you're going to be like, you know what? Hey, you, we're, we're back. <laughs> we're back. I, I'm, I'm forgiving now. <laughs> Is that what's happening, guys? No. I don't <laughs> want what I said to get misconstrued. Okay. I will, all I was saying is that Keith Buckley didn't do some heinous act mm -hmm. that we should just shun him completely for. That's all I was saying. And I agree right. with that. I and all totally and also that. I I just want to hear what this music sounds like. I'm not saying that I'm gonna support him 100 percent and give him all my money <laughs> and like right. you know what I'm saying. Like I'm yeah, not. Know that's not what I'm saying. Right. I'm just saying You're that just reluctant to give him my money. Yeah, I understand. I, he, I, I agree with that. He was being a total dick and yeah. broke up yeah. my, one of my favorite bands of all time. I'm sure that you're tuning into this video because you know <laughs> that Keith Buckley was the singer of Every Time I Die and they had a nasty breakup. Nasty. Not like nasty in the way you're like, yeah, nasty. <laughs> it was like nasty where you're like, no, no, that's stupid. I hate that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. So that's what we're talking about. But I'm pretty sure if you click this video, it's because you knew who Every Time I Die is, and you knew who Keith Buckley is. So you know, uh, you know damn well. No, you know uh, me. I was mainly just saying that. You know, <laughs> I, I don't trust the guy anymore. He can't have my heart. Yeah. He can't have my money. So I'll support Better Lovers. This one I'm interested to hear, but I don't know if I'll go to a show. I know that they're they're. <clears throat> Is it called Many Eyes? Many Eyes, yes. Yeah. Okay, I know that they're they announced a tour with Thursday. I would love to see Thursday. Same. But I will sit this one out until I figure out my relationship with Keith. <laughs> okay, you know what? Yeah. That's fair. When, when you say it that way, like you you want to give yeah. it time to see how it's gonna unfold and everything. Sure. Yeah. I'm okay with that, and and I don't hate that that look on it. Yeah. Uh, I said Let's it on if... our live show. I'm excited about two possible every time I die sounding bands, mm -hmm. because if he's going to try to mimic that sound, which we're about to find out, obviously, uh, then then that's that's kind of cool that out of out of a terrible situation, we got two sick bands if that's what happens, you know. So well, let's just say like if, yeah. for instance, the music's good and I'm like kind of into it and he watches his mouth for a little <laughs> while he's like not talking a bunch of shit and like telling everyone to kiss his butt in other words then maybe maybe yeah. maybe that's what i <clears throat> that is one of my biggest concerns is that all the lyrics are just gonna be jabs 
because I feel I feel like <laughs> yeah. I feel like uh, Better Lovers has some jabs at that situation. And I well, and but that's ca- different because Greg wasn't even a part of it. So it's right, like, what but, are you <laughs> look, so like, yeah, I, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but like, I love the band Woe Was Me, I, and I like actually the second version of Woe Was Me better. Uh, once the other band went and did uh, issues, or you know, half the guys went to issues, but like the first album after all that happened with Woe Was Me, it was just like talking shit about the dudes that went to issues and it was like, Mm. okay, I get it. One or two songs is fine. But when you have six songs on the album, it's like, for fuck's sake, grow up, you know, and that album's sick. Get over it. Move on. Yeah. You make your one or two songs and then fucking be, be good, be good with it. So that's, that's my only concern is that it's, there's going to be a tick for tack kind of, you know, bullshit lyric wise. I mean, at least make it sound vague, you know, it's like, (laughs) I could be talking about anything. And you know what? And that's how the Better to Lo- better Lovers songs are. They're very yeah. vague enough to where it's like, and there's a lot of speculation that, you know, oh, that's definitely about Keith, you know? So who knows? We don't know. I don't, I don't see podcast? why Greg would write about Keith. Yeah. that's. There's I, don't even, I don't even see why that would even be a thing. Let's start a podcast that's solely but based maybe, on analyzing Better Lover lyrics. I like, guess. Do you think that's about Keith? <laughs> I'm down. It's Let's definitely do about Keith. <laughs> We're back with another line from a song <laughs> that I think I've figured out. <laughs> All right. I'm excited. Can we get into this? Yeah, let's get. Let's go. This is just a vis- visualizer, by the way. We pause. Yeah, we pause for a second. Yeah, let's pause it, dude. I feel like this is just. (laughs) (laughs) What we were just talking about, right? He's like, hey, everybody, kiss my butt. (laughs) I honestly, I wasn't even listening to the lyrics. I was just listening to the music, and it's just every time I die. Yeah, I mean, it is. That's what I figured. It's just a. Hey, it's just a band it. copying it. Let's time scooch I it back a little bit, you know? Listen to the lyrics this time. Because he's you go, like, You're going to go back? Is he yeah, talking shit? Just a little bit, yeah. Just go back shit. like 10 seconds okay. or something. There you go. Now listen to it. Now listen. What you want to become? You have always been. So where are all the holy men? I see some cowards. I see some frauds. I see my diamond in the teeth of the dog. Is he, is he, like, Talking about better lovers being some cowards and being some frauds. <laughs> uh, who knows? I don't know. I, just, I mean, if <laughs> I was in a band for twenty years and I broke up, we broke broke up, and then I had some song talking about seeing some cowards and some frauds. the only thing that bothers me is that what like Keith's statement was like essentially saying like this is something I've never done before. This is the heaviest I've ever heaviest thing I've ever done before. Something along those lines, mm-hmm. like. It basically saying this isn't gonna be like every time I die. Right. Come to find out in the first what twenty I'm seconds of the song, it, it sounds exactly like every time I die. Look <laughs> at the visualizer now. The visualizer looks <laughs> yeah. like it every it time looks I like die. A radical it looks like radical. It looks like the poster <laughs> behind me. <laughs> Look, now, Keith. If, if you see this, don't come beat us up. Look, don't. At, I'll, don't fight at Keith, me. I'll fight Keith any day of the week. He but scare here's me. the thing: like Keith has a certain sound to his voice. But it's, that, not, it's not even just Keith; it's the music. Well, yeah, but like if you listen to like his uh, features on like the Straight from the Path song, it sounds like every time I die because he's on it, and like it, it just changes it. And like on the uh, Knocked Loose song that he's on, it sounds like every time I die during those riffs. And you're just like, maybe they wrote it for him specifically, and they were like. Here, we're gonna give you some of your your style and but it i think i think a little bit of it is keith's sound is always gonna sound like every time i die you know i don't know man maybe i don't know maybe i feel like you're I'm, I'm, maybe I'm defending it. I don't fucking know. Let, let's, <laughs> okay, let's just keep. So going. mad. He's so mad. 
<laughs> let's just keep let's just keep, yeah. keep going, guys. Keep going. Let's, keep going. Let's, let's just be cool out here. I know you're about to say something about that. Yeah, I mean, it just sounds like it's he's literally shit, sounds sure. like he's just like, I see cowards and I see fate. I'm a humble man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. It's yeah. them. This is kind of this is kind of turning my. <laughs> I, as right, soon as keep... he said that, I was like, sorry, but they're going to say something. Sorry, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking it let's so just, far, guys. No, I, we're not even we're not even halfway. Let's, I know. Let's try to make it through. <laughs> to go first i'm not going first because y'all are just gonna shit on me <laughs> no no fine i'll go first i liked it i didn't i did. look if there obviously is some lines that are about the drama if this mm. is the only song and they get it out of a system wonderful we got good we got the retaliation or whatever i do think the line f you i'm in love or whatever <laughs> uh i think that's so I think part of the drama, this is all hearsay of what I read, right? Was there was something to do with his new girlfriend, wife, whatever she is, um, was kind of butting into the band business. That's what I read. I don't know. I don't know if that's correct. But with that line, it makes it feel like, oh, 
I maybe that had some legs to that rumor was the girlfriend. Legs. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh so I liked it. I liked the chorus. I thought the chorus was was fun. Um I think yeah. it was heavy, but it's it's not as heavy as what he was like making it sound to be, you know. So that's yeah. kind of weird. I am really interested to see the next one. I don't want to give this one a banger. I won't give it a banger, but I really did <laughs> like it. So I'll probably listen to this you know, mean, 20 times tomorrow. If I knew nothing about it and I knew did not, you know, I don't know who it is. I don't know who this band is or whatever. I would be like, this is pretty cool. But I do. <laughs> right. And, and, you know, the context makes me kind of like it's kind of cringe a little bit. You know what I mean? But, you know, it just still kind of sounds like every time I die. Like, it sounds more like every time I die than Better Lover sounds like every time I die. No, I don't you know. know. I, mean? like, I, th- I don't know about that. I think Better Lover sounds... I mean, like... It sounds a lot like every time I die. Like, a lot more like every time I die. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just kind of has, like, that vibe going on. Okay. This one hurts my heart a lot. <laughs> because like you said in context mm-hmm. knowing what we know yeah it is keith kind of just crying <laughs> you know yeah. but I mean, out of yeah. context if this was even not even like a band i didn't know or pre- people we didn't know out of context if this was just like a side project or a new every time i die song yeah I would absolutely fucking love it. It's so fucking yeah. good. And that's what hurts yeah. my heart. Yeah. I know what you mean. Like, ah, oh, God damn it. But this is exactly. Even the fuck you, I'm in love part that, it, that like, I feel that when he sings it, when he screams it. Yeah. I just feel like that's what I, I didn't want to happen. I know. <laughs> it's saying. So. I'm just reading this song the is so good. This song is so good. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, my heart hurts right yeah. now. I'm sad. <laughs> this made me sad. So, so thank you, everyone, for that. It seems like everyone think? in the comments is like really like supportive of it. And and look, this is a kind of what I was saying. Some people are saying like two Christmases because you get better lovers and and many many eyes now. So yeah. parents, the parents got divorced. <laughs> now you get two Christmases. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but one one. One person's going to cry more than the other. So. No. There's going to be a favorite parent. Also, someone's... Uh, one parent's always a gaslighter, too. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, leave it in the comments, guys. Do you think we're wrong? Uh, are you going to support Keith Buckley over Better Lovers? Or are you just like, nah, well, I'm going to do, do both. I'm going to send them both Christmas hams. <laughs> I'm going to do both. <laughs> I'm going to do both. Me, personally, uh, I don't think I could do it, man. I'll even see Thursday on a different tour, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, Toby, tell us in your happy face, not your angry one, about your <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I have this podcast. <laughs> it's, it's called <laughs> The Secret Levels Podcast. It's a retro video game review show where we go over one game per episode and we let you know if it's still worth playing. It's on all the major podcasting platforms. It's uh, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. There's 183 some odd episodes of old video game history and reviews. Go check it out, guys. I also Twitch stream. Twitch.tv slash Toby Von Doom. Rabbit. Rabbit. What's up, nerds? Ribbit. Uh-huh. I'm I'm in a bad place right now. <laughs> it's really depressing. Is that did you lose uh, all your hair behind you? What's all that? Yeah, all the... I know. Yeah, my hair is falling out. As you can <laughs> oh, see, oh this was all my hair, it's and it all fell out. Every time I die, flag. I know. Too. And my my band flag. Um, yeah. If you want to cheer me up, just. Go listen to my band, Terminated, on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. Um, yeah, give us a like, or you can follow me on Instagram at RA6IT, and we can be friends, and you can you know, send me fun memes to cheer me up. I don't know. He was going to say <laughs> nudes. I know he was. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You know, whatever. If, if that's in the cards, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, 
but yeah, uh, this was not fun for me. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> later, nerds. <laughs> Um, I am uh, Rickshaw, and you are nerding out with Rickshaw. And guys, I'm gonna, I want to start streaming soon, so you should check me out on what is it, twitch.tv slash nerding out with Rickshaw. And I'm gonna play through some horror games, you know, I'm feeling really spooky. Do I even have the time though? Not really. So <laughs> you're just gonna have to go add me up, and if you get that notification that's like, yo, Rickshaw's playing scary games, then go and watch us fart uh also ner- oh i already said that one. Oh, go <laughs> add us go add dirty out with rickshaw on all of our stuff facebook instagram uh we also do long podcasts that's going to end up on like you know spotify apple podcasts all that stuff also in a band called never rest so check that out and we will see you later nerds <laughs>